press and the national press is the big charity moan. We're finding it really hard. Donations are dropping off. Please feel sorry for us. Well, the truth is charities aren't finding it hard. People that are finding it hard are the 14,000 people in developed countries that have just lost their jobs at Rio Tinto because of all the borrowing we've done over the last 10 years. People that are finding it hard are the laborers for chorus who are fighting and taking longer hours and less pay just to keep their job at this moment in time. They're not having it hard. The charity sector is dropping by a few percent and the vast majority of us are keeping our jobs. In fact, compared to every other sector, we're in a relative boom. So I challenge, I wouldn't do anything without call to action, but instead of this big charity moan, oh, we're having such a hard time in the recession, plug they were not, and two, what a dreadful message to give out. If there ever was a time to recognise the achievements of the 26 million households in the UK that have given over the last 10 years, to make them feel as good as Nelson Mandela made me feel when he spoke through my television and said, thank you, Alan, for existing, and to get them ready for what I think will be the boom of Generation X as we come out of this recession, why not all get together and do one big integrated campaign and recognise what the charity sector has achieved, make everybody feel good in the middle of a recession, and come out the other end as the champions that everybody wants to belong to. This is the time, ladies and gentlemen, to form a cooperative, and I believe, to do the big thank you to the British public that have done so well. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me. Enjoy.